Hey Sag, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. We're about to hop into your reading, see what's happening with you and your person. The intention is romantic, but the message can come through for possibly another, you know, connection, maybe family, friendship, things like that. Okay. Of course, this can resonate for the cross watcher and it can resonate in reverse can also be a more of a predictive reading as well. All right. All right, Sag, let's see what is happening here. First, I want to get the energy of this connection. I'm using Kim Cran's archetype guidebook. It turns out I pretty much love her work. I use the animal spirit deck and um, I gravitated towards this deck and I was like oh shit it's Kim Kranz again she's good all right so let's see here we go Sag all right cool this one Ooh, Sag you've got the nectar I've seen this card and I just I just love that word, nectar. Mm. All right. What do we have? Let's see. Is this an initiation card? I think it is, Sag. I think you have an initiation card. You sure do. Ah, the nectar. Mm. I've got the medicine. <laughs> All right, I'm laughing. That's like an inside joke between me and my significant other. He's like, I got the medicine. All right, so the nectar, the medicine, the elixir, the garden. In Hindu mythology, I'm actually going to lay it right here in the center. Okay. Kind of looks like yin and yang a little bit, right? It says in Hindu mythology, there is a miraculous substance known as amrit or nectar that contains infinite healing power. This golden nectar or its sacred elixir is the drink of immortality and like its sister substance, Soma, is known to activate subtle intelligent forces that ease the mind, body, and spirit. Through esoteric, these images lead us to the central energy of this archetype, the sweet, potent, heavenly essence that lubricates our spirit back to life. The Nectar card calls us to identify and relish in places, practices, people, and activities that regenerate and heal. Medicine is needed, and it comes in subtle form that you may be overlooking. Mm -hmm. Seek the most forgotten, or I'm sorry, seek the most sensuous, fragrant flower in the garden you have forgotten. Don't underestimate this remedy. It is said when someone has activated this substance within, it is reflected in their shimmering eyes. When light, glowing, relaxed, subtle illumination. When dark, fixation on the fixing. Uh, fixation on fixing. Aggressive approach to healing. All right. So it says the nectar, the mystic, and Aletheia, or yeah, Aletheia cards are linked. It is the mystic who, like Krishna, turns poison into nectar. And it is truth that can often serve as a potent elixir for healing. I'm actually getting, you know, it's funny I bring up yin and yang, Sag. I'm actually getting temperance, which is your card, okay? When they said um, turning poison into nectar, okay? So it's very also... It's alchemical, very magician-like as well, okay? So, you know, turning water into wine, turning lead into gold, turning poison into nectar, okay? It says, sense the nectar within you, dripping from the crown of the head and soothing the brain. Let it drip down the spine like sweet honey, okay? All right, so... I was getting like a few messages, but the biggest thing I got, Sag, is like you all have the medicine. And remember when I stopped, when it said you may be overlooking something, there's something that 
either you have or your person. Um, hold on. What was I getting? You have the, the remedy. Okay. The remedy to the ailment, like something is ailing you, something is ailing this relationship or connection, but it's like you have the key or you have what it takes to fix it. Okay. You're, you may be looking for answers, but the answer is you. Doing something sweet for someone. Okay. Can you show me Sag? How is Sag showing up here? How is Sag showing up for this person? The butterfly. Hmm. You also have the fox and the gazelle. So you are undergoing change. You're undergoing, undergoing great change when the butterfly shows up. Okay. Almost, <laughs> I just saw like this image of a butterfly, like going like, oh, wait, do I want to go that way? Do I want to go that way? It's like, you're, I'm getting like multiple changes. Okay. Are, are going on here, Sag. All right. For you. Okay. And it's good. It's not, it's not negative. It's, you may be asking for a little bit of grace right now. Okay. Like you also, um, hold on. You may be needing grace, grace period. I'm hearing for you. Okay. Deer wanted to come right up um, for your person. Okay, so I'm actually going to put this back because, <laughs> hold on, I want to put this back because I want to make sure that I'm not affecting, or are you concerned about, this may be you, I may be picking up on your concern. Okay, so look, Jax's room is right above the garage. I'm in the garage, right? And I hear like some stuff going on. And I'm like, what is he getting into? And so the, I, I'm like, is the deer me right now? So I want to hold on. I want to, I want to focus. Okay. Cause a part of me, you know, a mom first, I'm, I'm like, what is he doing up there? Okay. Hold on, Sag. Okay. All right. The Eagle. Okay, so air energy, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wherever this is, is a go-getter. And uh, when I saw the, because the gazelle was there for you too at the bottom of the deck, this person's like very like goal-oriented energy because that's what I'm seeing. That makes you nervous. Okay, Sag. Um, and okay. So there's something about this person. That's what I'm getting with you with the butterfly. It's like you, there's a lot of relationships that have changed period for you, Sag. And it like these past relationships I'm hearing, like it can be with family, friends. All right. I'm getting like, you've changed a lot. You've changed a lot. And it is, it is a lot to take on. Okay. Like you're having to wear a lot of hats right now, Sag. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. And you're looking at yourself. I like, like this butterfly. I see you looking at yourself. You're like, Whoa, look at me. Okay. Like I think that for a number of you life, 
if you look at your life right now, last year at this point, it for some of you looks very different. Okay, like you look very different, your life looks very different, and you've evolved in a in an uh, evolution type of way. Okay, so you've evolved, and so a lot of you, I am getting that you're in a partnership with who this is, but your evolution may have to do with your person here. And then it's like, right now I'm getting this vibe of you having to, like you're seeing them evolve again. Like for some of you, this person is getting a promotion or they're going after uh, a goal, a number of things here with the Eagle. This is somebody very determined for some of you. The Eagle card usually shows up when this, uh, this person, it could be military. Okay. They could, yeah, they could be in the armed forces. This, you know, whoever this is too, there's something about traveling or taking a flight. Not like you have to take a flight or travel, but this person like they're like, they have their eyes set on something and it may be about distance. And you're, I know you're over here sad. You're like, wait a minute. I just, I'm going through all these changes and so now you're like, okay, am I going to have to change again? I see you worried. I feel like you're concerned. Maybe that deer is you that I picked up on. Like you're concerned about what is this person going to do now? Like what they're focused on now. Okay. I'll move on. I'm sorry. I'm just getting, you know, I get a lot. I don't mean to be long winded about it. Show me um, how is Sag showing up for who this is right now. Runner. I don't want to run anymore. That's, you know, you're notoriously known as the runner, right, Sag? <laughs> runner, but you don't want to run anymore. So that's, I do like this card. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's what I'm getting. You're like, wait, wait a minute. Okay. Like, <laughs> I'm tired. Hold on. <laughs> Like maybe this person wants to move or leave or do something again. Cause a number of you, like I do get you're in a partnership or you're, you're involved with this, with this person. They could be the father or mother of your children, but they have, they, there's a very serious focus about them. Um, and I am getting yin and yang. I am. Okay. Like the yin to your yang, the yang to your yin. All right. Um, so yes, here. okay, hold on disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. Okay. I, I do get a very serious vibe with who this is. If you look at them, like if you could look at this person, it's like, I'm see you, you ever look at the Eagle's eyes, how serious, like how they look a little mad. I don't know if this person looks mad or if they just have this very serious look about them. Like they're thinking about things and you know it, I, I feel like you sense it. And that's your gazelle energy. You sense it. You're a little bit, um, you're a little bit fixated on it. So that's where the nectar came in. If we could go back and now refer to that again initiation. Are you sensing that you need to initiate because this is an initiation card? Okay. Um, hold on. Just bear with me. I just love these images. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. Um, L the where no 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 oh, never mind it's not the initiation card sorry i was thinking of the aries they're extended they got they got an initiation card okay my bad what the hell ah, thank you 
Okay. It says when dark fixation on fixing. Okay. Aggressive approach to healing. So I don't know if you're like, you have an aggressive approach to healing. What I'm getting is the fixation on fixing. Okay. So I don't get a relaxed energy with you right now. Not at all. I don't think you're very relaxed. Um, so there is again, Sag, I do feel I am hearing that you have the medicine and funny enough, like your person, the way they're coming up with disagreements is I wish you understood how I feel. All right. Now, I don't think you want to, I think you are trying to understand this person. I really do because I did see it's not, it's not there, but I did see understanding at the top of the deck. When I stopped, when I got your card here, I saw understanding. So you, you do, I feel like you really do. You really, and a number of you I'm hearing, like you want to tell this person, like, God, if you only knew like how far I've come at this point, it, but they're needing more understanding from you. Okay. But you are concerned. I think right now, a number of you could be trying to talk to somebody else about what's going on with you and this person to, you know, understand more. Do I want a tarot deck, a tarot card, tarot deck? Can you show me Sag? Three of wands. Yeah, look at you. You're, you're definitely, I see you. This is that gazelle energy that I feel like it doesn't matter if this person's in the room with you. There, there's something here where you're feeling very distant. Okay. You're using, I feel sad that distance to gather your thoughts to, you know, uh, a number of you may not, you're not wanting to bring up something yet. Okay. A number of you may be withholding, I'm going to say this for the grown folks, you know what you could be withholding, you know, or maybe you're not trying to do that. It's just happening. And, um, you know, for the grown folks, I'm hearing like, there's the medicine right there. Just saying, okay, there's the nectar. There's the sweet spot. All right. Judgment. There needs to be a release. Okay. I'll say that in this connection, that's for the grown people. There needs to be some sort of release. Um, yeah, this, I, I, you know, no matter what, I definitely see this connection is evolving. It's going to a new level, whatever disagreement has happened. It is for this connection to evolve. You are very, I want to say this, you know, with the three of wands, you are hoping for the best, right? You, you are keeping your eye on them. Ooh. Five of wands. Look at that. Um, Leo, Saturn and Leo. I feel like too, like you see this person upset. They got a lot going on too with the five of wands coming out. You're watching this all from a distance. You're trying to get your mind right. I see that with you. Some of you are like long distance runners. But you're hoping for the best here in this connection, Satch. Yeah, nine of swords. Oh, yeah. They're definitely in their head. Two of pentacles, eight of swords. Oh, yeah. Seven of cups. Ooh, they got a lot on there. I was about to say fucking mine. Sorry. They do. Like, I just felt that they, this person has a lot on their mind. They are so concerned with what is going on. Like what you all, I think that you, maybe you feel like they don't understand Sag, but 
I, I feel like this person does for some of you, but they are more so like, I don't think that Sag understands me. That's the vibe I get with them. So they're trying to figure out a lot of you. This person's goal is to figure out how to present their thoughts and they, and, and what they want to you. They, maybe they feel like they're, they're trying to, okay. It's you, the situation is definitely on their mind. Okay. 100%. Um, wow. They could be losing sleep at night. They're like, I just want to know what's the best thing to do here with this two of pentacles energy. Yeah, they really don't. They, they're contemplate. They're thinking really, really hard, Sag. I actually want to pull their energy first. Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation. There's the eagle, liberation and transition. You know what I get very strongly with your person is they, they do not like this. They do not like this type of energy. Um, they're not feeling very free. All right. I do need to tell you that, like, they're feeling very misunderstood. I also, I want to say this person is like a goal getter, go getter, like whatever the case, they're not going to like let what's happening stop, stop them from achieving a goal. I do get that for them. They're very goal oriented. Um, something means a lot to them. That's what I just heard. And they're like, I wish you understood where I'm coming from Sag with that. Like this means a lot. But like I said, you know, I do feel like whatever you all are going through, you do have an opportunity to grow through it. Okay. And look, growth, change, liberation is like, you know, the eagle, it's, it's liberty, it's freedom. Um, I think both of you are trying to gain perspective on what's going on here by it doesn't matter. Even if you and this person were living together, I think you guys are kind of like avoiding a conversation right now. Not in a way. It's in a way to kind of gather your thoughts. I think that you're ready to talk about it. Sag, I do get that for a number of you with runner. I don't want to run anymore. Three of wands. It's just, you're like, I think right now you're like, I'm going to allow this person to come in and have a conversation. Endings bring new beginnings. So you both are in this like transitional phase of you guys are going through a number of transitions. That's what I'm hearing. Yep. Mask wanted to come up for you. Not showing true feeling. There it is. Not showing true feelings. Hide. That's why I'm getting with you. Keeping your distance. You're like hiding. Um, that's all it is. I don't think that you're gaslighting this person. Okay. I mean, if you are, you are <laughs> like, you know, own your shit. Um, if you don't know what gaslighting is, look it up, but it literally is like lying and trying to, you know, <laughs> tell someone you're trying to rewrite history. And the other person is like, no motherfucker. Like I was right there. Like you're, tr you're trying to tell me that this happened and I'm literally like, you know, if that's what you're doing, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Could that, well, you know, don't own it. If that's not what you're doing, Sash, this may be more so for the cross watcher because I kind of, you know, look, you have this person in their head. They are questioning things. They're kind of, you know, damn. This person's like, I mean, am I fucked up here? Like, what what is going on? Am I the one that, like, is that how it happened? What's going on? 
Um, I hope y'all aren't doing that. I'm just going to keep it real. I hope you guys are not, you know, but wearing a mask, even with who this is, Sag, I will tell you this, it does bother them. Like, you know, obviously they're like, I can't read you. And I also, you know, feel like you don't understand how I feel. So if they are being quiet, if they do seem like, you know, they're focused on other things, that could be because that's the way that they feel free. Cause this person does value their freedom. They do value the, uh, even the space to just mentally be free. And this situation kind of is like fucking with them, you know, I already know it's going to be some people in the comments. Well, they shouldn't have did this. And I'm not gaslighting anyone. I get it, y'all. That's why I said, if it's not you, it's not you. But sometimes, sometimes if we really do take, take, you know, if we look at things, it's not even gaslighting someone. It sometimes it is, you know, even you telling someone that you're not mad that is a lie. Okay. Like, or that you're not bothered. That's a lie. You see what I'm saying? So it's not gaslighting in that sense, but it's, it's not showing true feelings and that bothers this person. But some of you could say, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. or I'm just going to, you know, say for this side for Sag, um, Sages do typically show their feelings. So it's like, if you're, if you're in this space where you feel like you can't, maybe there's a reason for that too. You know, maybe you haven't felt comfortable. So now you're feeling like you have to create a mask, you know, to, in order to like keep the peace, but that it's just not working. Like, you know, you guys are going to have to face the music I'm hearing. In this connection. Okay. Toxic, no discipline. As I say that, hold on. Show me, um, Satch. Mental block. Fear of failure keeps you stuck. Break free from limits to unlock your potential. Okay. Fear of failure. I'm looking at this. Remember I said, I feel like you've already grown a lot, Sag. Okay. And now it's like, for some of you, the vibe I get, I'm over here having a hot flash talking about it. The vibe I get is like, I'm even getting this exhausted feeling. It's just like, oh my God, like, you know, what the fuck do you mean I got to grow more right now? Or like, what do you mean I have to now, like, I've already just evolved. Like I have to evolve more. Okay. Um, whoever this is, I will tell you this. And, and this is whoever this reading strongly resonates for. This person is going to challenge you to evolve. They're showing up like the fucking Eagle. Okay. So, you know, an Eagle is the Eagle type. Like this person definitely gives me like big Cardinal energy. So like I said, Libra, um, you know, cancer. Yes, this could be another air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, but Libra, cancer, um, Aries and Capricorn, big Capricorn energy as well. All right. But yeah, this person's definitely going to, um, challenge you. They really are. And this to me is not the type of person that is going to just lay down and submit. Maybe they typically do, but not this time. And I know that for some of you, like that may be because you all have grown a lot. And something I just was about to tell you, Sag, you guys are amazing. Like you really are. Um, I'm looking at this three of wands and you're very special. You, you would not be here if you did not have the capacity to do this. That's what I'm telling you. If you did not have the capacity to 
elevate in the way that it, it's required to, you know, move forward in this connection with who this is, then you wouldn't be here. Okay. Let me see this person's shadow. Can you show me this person's shadow in the connection with Sag? How's this person's shadow showing up right now? Addiction. Ah, compulsive need despite negative consequences. Get support and therapy. Well, they do show up with the seven of cups that they are showing up with a bit of, um, you know, addictive cards here for sure. Compulsive need negative consequences. Okay. Hold on. Despite negative consequences. For a number of you, this person's trying to overcome addiction, okay? That's what I'm getting here. It's like they're trying to overcome addictions. I'm getting night sweats, guys. Like... I don't know if there's some things going on here in the connection that could trigger um, get support and therapy. I think they, you know, this person knows they may, they need a level of support. Um, Hold on, because remember that remember the toxic card came out. I mean, for some of you, Sag, I think that this person could be addicted to you. I think that they could be. Um, is that the way I want to say it? Hold on. There's a few things for a number of you. Like I do get this person is trying to overcome addictions right now. And that is their goal. Endings bring new beginnings. This person is trying to get rid of this, be done with it. It's kind of difficult. Like I see a number of you, you may be having like disagreements with them and it, that may be an added stress. They feel like you don't understand how they feel. Okay. Because they are, they're struggling. Like they have a lot going on. They have a lot on their plate and there can be things in this connection that can trigger addictive behaviors and they don't want to do that. This person does not want to go back to that. Okay. And you may not even think that you're doing that now. Fear of failure keeps you stuck. Break free from limits to unlock your potential. There's something here that I feel, Sag, that you're like, there is a, it's almost like you're not wanting to do something. I want to say this the right way. You're not wanting to do something because you're worried that you can't keep doing that. It's kind of like that thing, like, well, if I do this favor for someone, or if I do this, or if I submit this time, how do I know I'm not going to have to keep on submitting? Or if I have to understand this time, how do I know I'm not going to have to keep on understanding? You won't know until you know. All right. You won't know there there. Okay. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say this too. All right. There is something toxic here. There is, I, I don't know exactly what's going on. You guys can just go ahead, you know, and f you, you know, your own story. But when the toxic card came out, it says toxic and no discipline. And one of you or both of you is, you know, I think the both of you want to like, 
figure that out. Remember I said the temperance card, I was getting the temperance card. Temperance is a card for sobering up. Okay. So there is something that keeps happening in this connection. And this is a, like kind of tying this all together where whoever this is, they are done with that. Like they're done. They're like, I don't want to keep on doing this. I don't, I, I want to have a new start because that's what temperance is about. It's about stripping away all the unnecessary, getting down to the bare bones of what is going on. And we build and we take what we have and we create, you know, something meaningful and, you know, new. All right. And, and better. Okay. So this seems like it's getting a little deep and I'm about to stop and get into part two, but I am getting that there is something that keeps happening and it's very frustrating. It can feel very frustrating for you. It can feel very frustrating for them. Okay. To the point where you may feel like, okay, I've got to hide my feelings now. And to the point where they're like, I'm just not even going to bring it up. I'm not even going to say anything. Um, I'm just going to go into places where I feel free. I'm going to speak in places where I can speak freely. Okay. That's not good. That's not, this is not good for the connection. So going back, you've got the medicine. Right. Look at the, remember the poison addiction is here. So if the poison is present and one of you, both of you, the connection period, if the poison is present, let's talk about yin and the yang duality, then the nectar can be created. So if, or the remedy, remember going back to the beginning when I said remedy, if the poison is present, then the remedy exists. That is the way this place works anyway. Duality. All right. That's what you need. I feel to like, if you've stuck around for this entire reading and you're wondering like, am I going to find some resolve? The resolve is present. It's already energetically here. If the poison exists, then the remedy exists. All right. Um, and I think it comes in the form of you not feeling like you need to keep your distance and, and not, you all need to have a level of honesty between you two. So, okay, I'm going to stop this here and now we're going to get into part two. Part two, the link for that is in the description, top of the comments, Sag. If you, it, I mean, odds are, if you stuck around, like this reading really made sense. And I, I do feel like it's probably very, very specific for a few of you. Okay. So in part two, I'm going to pull where I see this going next. I'm going to ask, what does this person want overall in this lifetime? What do they think will happen in this lifetime? The outcome over the next three to six months, I'm going to pull from the time Oracle deck to give you a timeline of forward movement, the time, whatever you want in this connection, I'm going to give you a timeline of when I see that happening. Okay. And then we are going to pull advice from the crystal spirits deck and other cards if I need it on how you should be showing up in this connection. Okay, Sag. So if you feel like that information is going to be beneficial to you, then come on over to watch your extended link in the description, top of the comments. If this is where we part ways, Sag, yes, this was a longer reading, but I mean, it felt necessary. So I love you guys. Um, take care of yourselves. All right. And I'll see you soon. Peace.